Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to get the Safari or WebKit on any operating system. This will work on anything that I know of except for Linux. So here we go. <clears throat> First we're going to open any web browser. Uh, I'm going to use Safari just for the purpose of this video. And the page you see is Google. And I'm going to search in Safari WebKit. And the first link will be webkit.org, the open source project. Click on that link, it'll start to load, and soon enough we have a download link right here. Um, this is where we download the nightly builds. Basically, the Safari 4 WebKit is just tiny bug fixes that give Safari the boost it needs to be just that almost perfect web browser. It's extremely fast already. Click download nightly builds and it'll bring you to a page where you can choose your operating system, Mac OS X or Windows, whether it's Vista, XP, 95, 98, whatever you might have, and click on, um, this is a 22 megabyte download for Windows, 20 megs for Vista, or for OS X, and once you have it, you will, in your start menu, if you search WebKit, hopefully you can see this in HD, uh, if you search WebKit, it'll search and you will see um, all these things. What you want to do is hit Run Nightly WebKit, right click it, and run it as an administrator. And I already have this saved right here. I changed the icon and everything, and I named it WebKit. So when I click it, it goes through this whole man prop prompt uh, dialog. And it lasts about five seconds, but I think it's worth the wait. Now, the original Safari, every time you ran the ACID 3 test, Every single time you ran the browser ACID 3 test, you got a 75 out of 100, which is really bad. And the leak test would always fail, and that was a problem with one of Safari's little bugs. So now, if I were to type in ACID 3 and click on ACID 3 test, there you go. Safari 4 WebKit passes the ACID 3 test with a 100 out of 100. So I highly recommend you go ahead to Google and search um, WebKit and WebKit.org. Open up the page and download that nightly build. It makes Safari that much faster. See how fast it takes to open up YouTube. And another thing, if you have icons for your um, favorites, look as I roll down here, it'll open up what the icon was next to it. So that's pretty cool. And I had a few there. So I think it's pretty cool. Um, it's just a sweet, sweet web browser right now, and it's extremely fast. Look at how low, fast it buffers. Let's see, Google Maps, done. How fast was that? It's crazy. Um, so I really, really recommend this to anyone who's looking for the fastest browser on Windows. Um, I already showed you a tutorial on how to make Firefox faster. Well, that, that I guess, will be my tutorial on how to make uh, Safari faster. Um, how I got this icon was I right. I first I downloaded this image. Uh, I, I like the image. I downloaded it. Then I right click uh, what it was before, hit icon settings, and just uh, find where you saved the image. Click on that, um, and that will be what the icon is. And it's just a PNG image, nice high resolution image. I like it. Hit OK, and I renamed it WebKit by just typing it in right here. So. That's how you get the Safari for WebKit, guys. Look, I'll open up the original Safari and type in Acid 3. And you will get this big red icon here. Link test failed and 75 out of 100. Every single time, without fail. But, should you open Safari for WebKit, you'll get decent long dialogue, but I think it's worth it. <clears throat> um, copy a bunch of files, open a bunch of resources and things, then it'll actually buffer the browser itself. Type in ACID3, and just to show you I'm not joking, one more time, 100 out of 100, baby. I love this. So um, go ahead and download that to make your internet browsing experience that much faster. Uh, subscribe. Peace.